It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to the Friday football edition of the Mike Prince Show right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Of course, our social media handles for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. And our website is obnradio.com. The 24-hour dial-in message line 713 713- Five seven zero six seven three six. And without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. Today's Friday football edition is made possible by Diva Skin Conditioner. The website is divafeet.com. That's D-I-V-A-H feet.com. This formulation was designed for those who are challenged with the skin condition challenges that can come from dealing with diabetes. This formulation is so effective that there is a money-back guarantee by simply giving this product a try. DivaFeet.com. You can speak with a representative today by dialing 903-270-0026. And we would be remiss if we were not to remind you. Legal services of attorney Lee Van Richardson, located at 1047 Austin Street in Hempstead, Texas. You need to call the office of Attorney Lee Van Richardson at 979-826-8008. Well, we're on the countdown for the SWAC Media Day 2019. There is a threat of weather. Tropical Storm Barry is creating all kind of havoc in the state of Louisiana, in particular that of the Big Easy. So we're praying for each and every one that is within that area. In fact, they're expecting such backlash from Barry that the airlines are offering people who have flights scheduled out of the Gulf, which would include the Houston area, New Orleans area, an opportunity to reschedule their flights at no charge. So we'll probably have to keep a close monitor on that in regards of us making our destination to Birmingham, Alabama for the SWAG Media Day. But nonetheless, we will keep you posted on the outcome. It is Football Friday, and we are extremely amped up and ready to get things going. But before we do that, before we do that, I've got to share this story in regards to the NBA. And no, I'm not talking about the Westbrook trade from Oklahoma to Houston. There was an experimental project conducted by the producers at ESPN in regards to the NBA D-League. It was a game against Portland and whoever else it is, I forget. But this game was broadcast by using the 5G network and cell phones, six Samsung cell phones. And they synced them up on the network and let the cameras capture the game, of course, with the broadcasters. And all the shots were from the Samsung phone cameras. They had six of these cameras strategically set courtside. Some of the pluses and the minuses, you could only have wide angles couldn't zoom in and out on the fly but that's why you have six cameras this display was on ESPN3 and it makes you wonder some smaller operations had already been forced to operate in that mode has ESPN tapped into the secrets of the low budget producer They plan on doing more of these. They were pleased with the results of the coverage and the look of the product as they were 
broadcasting this NBA D game. So could this be the wave of the future, at least for basketball, on the ESPN3 platform? That story remains to be seen. Now let's get us back on track with our Football Friday. The Prairie View A&M University Panthers in week 11, which would be the final week of the regular season, according to our projections, will be heading into Alabama State for the Turkey Day Classic to take on what I am projecting to be somewhat of a struggling Hornet program. We'll talk about that a little bit later in my East and West projections. However, I see the Panthers going in on Thanksgiving Day and taking care of business in Montgomery, Alabama to improve their overall record to 8-3 and three, and more importantly, 6-1 and one in conference play. So with that being said, now is going to lead me to my East and West swag projections. This is the fun part. We'll go from the East first. Coming in at number five from the East, we are projecting that slot to be held down by Alabama State. We're looking at something like three and four, two and five in conference play. That number four slot would be Mississippi Valley. We have them in that same neighborhood, three and four, two and five. But Mississippi Valley has brought in 46 ball players. They're trying to change the dynamics, not working with a lot, but it's just something down in the pit of my belly that Valley might have a slight increase this year. Number three from the East, from our projections, would have Jackson State coming in with a four and three conference record. Number two would be a much improved Alabama A&M. We're projecting they'll end up with a five and two conference record, which leaves us with the Alcorn State Braves doing it yet again. They are the New England Patriots of the Southwestern Athletic Conference. You cannot count these guys out. But we have them, believe it or not, with a 7-0 and conference record. That is our projections from the East. Now to the West. We have at number 5, Pine Bluff, Arkansas coming in with our projected two and five conference record. Number four, Texas Southern with a projected three and four record. Coming in at number three, the Gramlin State Tigers. The G-Men were projecting they'll end up with a four and three conference record. Number two, the Southern Jags. We're projecting them to end up with a 5-2 and two conference record. And our number one seed from the West, we're projecting the Prairie View A&M University Panthers to end up with a 6-1 and one conference record. Now, if you look at this, and I know some of you are probably thinking I'm screaming mad right now, but there's a method to the madness. We're already saying that Alcorn would end up with a 7-0 and conference record, which means that Alcorn would end up having victories over Prairie View, Southern University, and Gramlin. And with that being said, we're also projecting that Southern will beat Gramlin this year, and Gramlin will lose to Prairie View. Which leads us to the SWAG Championship to be hosted for the second year on the reservation. The Battle of the Purple and Gold. And our projections on that one 
will be to be continued. I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Mike Prince. Hope you have a fun, safe weekend. We want to thank Diva Skin Conditioner and attorney Lee Van Richardson. Leave us your thoughts, comments, and projections on the 24-hour dialing message line, 713-570-6736. I've got to go, but until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.